Hello everyone, this is the train station in Singapore and it is also called MRT station. First, let me show you how to get the ticket. You can purchase your ticket at the ticketing machine available at all stations. Usually it is in English, but you can choose your preferred language here. To buy a standard ticket, choose your destinations on the screen. For example, I'm going to Orchard from my place Buangkok. The cost is $2.40 including $0.10 cents deposit. So do not throw your card away when you reach your destinations to get back your deposit. And for these functions, the machine only accepts certain notes and coins stated on the screen. So insert your notes over here or coins over here and collect your ticket. However, I strongly encourage you to buy EasyLink card instead. It is very convenient if you have this card and the fare is a lot cheaper too. You can get EasyLink card at the passenger service available at all stations. For a new card, the price would be $12. $5 is the card fee and it is non-refundable and the value inside is $7. You can top up the value of your card at the ticketing machines. Place your card at the card reader and it will show you your balance. Select the top up options and insert your notes. The minimum top up amount is $10. The machine accepts only $2, $5, $10 and $50 notes. So prepare exact amount because the machine doesn't have a change function. And please do not remove your card during the process. When it is ready, you can collect your card. EasyLink card valid for 5 years and you can renew your expired card at the ticket office available at bigger train stations including Changi Airport. At ticket office, you can also purchase a tourist pass. If you are taking a lot of rides and you won't be coming to Singapore often, this could be a good option. It is an unlimited travel value for a short duration between 1 to 3 days. Children below 0.9 meter do not need to buy a ticket. Let's take a look at the map system here. You can get this at the passenger surface. There are a few lines here. The east-west line, which is a green color line where Changi Airport is, starts from Changi Airport from the east all the way to the west here. It's called east-west line. And then the red color, red color is called north-south line starting from the bottom here and then goes up and then towards the some part of the west and that was the north south line now the purple color line start from this bottom here going all the way up to this here pungol here is called northeast line and the orange color line here goes in a circle is called a circle line and the newest line here which is a blue in color is called downtown line and let's try to travel from the easier one first. For example, if I am traveling from here, Harbourfront Center, which is where the ferry terminal is, if you are coming from the Batam, then you will be here. And if I'm going to Buangkok here, I'll just need to take one direct train. So here I am at the Harbourfront MRT station. Usually, there is only one big gate at the station and it is by directions. The rest of the smaller gates come with green or red light indicator. So just get into the one with green light. Remember to tap your card only at your right hand side and not at the left. And when I tap my card here, the balance will show. So I'll need to take the train that goes towards Bungol and is the purple color line. Let's take the escalator down or you can also take the lift. There will be a lift in every MRT station. Now I reach the train platform and because this is the bottom end station, both trains on the left and on the right are going to the same directions so I can take either one that comes first. Currently the train in the platform B on my left is not in service so I'll take the right one which is platform A the waiting time will be shown on the screen and usually it is about 5 minutes or less. And the board here shows you the exact durations from your current stations all the way to your destination. 
I'm going to Buangkok, so it will be exactly 28 minutes, exclude the waiting time. The train is now here. Please wait behind the red line on the left or right and let the passengers alight first. Never rush in when the light indicator is blinking as the door will close. But if there's anyone who accidentally got stuck on the door, please press the emergency train stop button. Now, here I am inside the train. The corner seats are usually reserved for people who need it more. So if you happen to be seated on those seats, you will need to offer your seats when you see someone who needs them more. And of course, if you are the one who needs the seat, don't be hesitant to ask for it too. The sign here will show you your current location as well as the name of your next station. And the sign for the whole route are usually near the door. And in some trains, it comes with the light indicator. And by the way, smoking, eating, or even drinking are not allowed in all stations and trains. And do not bring durians and flammable goods. Also, be careful not to press the emergency call button if you don't need them. Now, let's fast forward and I'm going to reach Buangkok stations. Now, this is Buangkok stations and let's go up. When you tap out, you can see your trip fare and the balance left on your card. And now, if I need to travel to anywhere from these Buangkok stations, I'll need to check carefully whether to take the train on the left or on the right. The left and the right trains are going to the opposite directions. Especially in City Hall stations, the opposite train are actually going to a different line. So unless if you are at the last stations, it will be better to check the signboard available at all stations. Now let's take the rides from Changi Airport to Lavender Stations. Although both stations are on the green line, I need to change the train at Tanamera Station here because the train that goes to a city and the west are actually coming from here, Pasiri Stations. Here is Changi Airport Station and now I'm going to take the train. And after two stops, I'm here at Tanamera Station and I'll just need to cross over to the opposite train and I'll reach Lavender Station. It will take exactly 16 minutes exclude the waiting time. Now let's take a trip from Lavender Station to Bayfront Station where the Marina Bay Sands Hotel is. The easiest route is to take the green line to Bugis Station and from Bugis walk over to the blue line platform following the sign and once you reach the blue line platform, take the train to Bayfront. Now if I'm traveling from Lavender to Orchard, I'll take the green line to City Hall and then change to the red line to Orchard. But if I travel from Lavender to Buangkok, I'll need to change the train twice. The first alternative is to take the green line from Lavender to Paya Lebar. And from Paya Lebar, I need to change to the orange color line to Serangoon. And from Serangoon, I change the purple color line to Buangkok. The second alternative is to take one stop to Bugis and change to the blue color line to Little India and from Little India, change purple color line to Buangkok. By the way, the gray color line here are called LRT, which is something like the monorail. So if you need to go, for example, farmway, you first have to go to Sengkang MRT stations and then change to the LRT to farmway. And lastly, from Buangkok, to Changi Airports, I also have two alternatives. First one is I have to go to Serangoon here by the purple color line and then change to the circle line which is orange color to Paya Lebar and change again to the green color line but I have to alight at Tanamera otherwise I will end up here at Pasiris. So from Tanamera, I will just take the train to Changi Airport. And the other alternative is from Bangkok going to Serangoon, from Serangoon change the train to MacPherson here and from MacPherson change the blue line here all the way to here Expo and I still need to change one more time to Chang Airport. So that's all for today. I hope this video is useful for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.